Welcome back everyone, and today we're doing full body strength training workout. Mind for a success team, grab your water and let's do it together. Alright team, so let's begin with a good quality warm up first to wake up our body, let the blood boil so we can burn a lot of calories and build lean muscle. And while we're doing the warm up, I will give you a heads up about this workout, what to expect. We have three warm up exercises today. Your first warm up exercise is your windmill. So go ahead and step wider with your boss feet. Take your arms all the way on the side, guys, and begin reach towards your ankle, towards your foot. Try to keep your knees soft and straight. Of course, do not lock them. Just make sure those knees are soft and extended. And give me a good quality rotation. Do not hurry up. We just started our warm up. Arms following, guys, the torso. So the torso rotation first, and then the arm following the torso. Keep on moving. All right. So we have four blocks total today, plus finisher. Yes, we do have a finisher. And each block, we're gonna be doing, guys, three times. So we have a three rounds for each block. But do not get scared, my friends. Each block has only two exercises, and those are takeaway exercises, takeaway rounds. So for the first round, we're gonna be doing 10 reps, for the second, eight reps, and for the third, only six reps, guys. Keep on breathing. Last one on each side. All right, your next warm-up exercise is your air squat. We're gonna take our arms up front for a little bit more intensity, and we all will pick up the pace to wake up faster. Feet hips width apart or slightly wider, arms to the front, here we go, begin. Weight, guys, away from your knees and away from your toes. Squat into the glutes, keep those arms long extended and super strong. Mind for success, everybody. That's gonna be amazing. Super effective workout, fly by quickly. And I almost forgot to mention that in between the blocks, not the rounds, in between the blocks, after we complete each block, we're gonna be doing quick cardio burst, which gonna be our squats to punches rotation. All right, few more reps left here. You've got this, and last one. Your next and final warm up exercise today is gonna be, guys, your frogger hop or step to your plank or plank on your knees, whatever you will choose. If you are a beginner, do your steps. If you are with me, then we're gonna do the hops. Step wider, toes slightly out for your frogger. Here we go. Good quality squat, frog first, step or hop back. Beautiful. We have only eight of those. Reach. Very good, good form. Lift up all the way, squat. That's it. We have guys three left together. Excellent. So again, I will repeat this one more time, team. Mind for success. All the strengths, all the commitment come from within. No one can do it for you. I'm here to encourage you, to guide you through, to give you a good workout. Be with you together, work hard. But your responsibility is to do the best what you possibly can. Awesome work, guys. Warm up is complete. Hopefully you feel like a blood is boiling, your body is ready to conquer this workout. So drink your water, stay hydrated, and we will begin our first block. Two exercises, I will demo them for you, and then we're gonna go from there. All right. For the first block, I'm gonna be using 12 pounds. For one or two exercises, I will use 10 pounders whenever it's a heavy compound exercises with some plyos. So I'm gonna be using 10. For this one, I'm using the 12 pounds, but use whatever your shoulders can support. Your first exercise, guys. Deadlift to power pull. Feet hips width apart, take a look. Shoulders up, back down. I will remind you, pull your stomach in. You only go as deep to your deadlift as you can maintain your neutral spine. You go the deadlift, you power pull on the tippy toes. Your second exercise in this block, guys, is gonna be your hops raster. So you don't go very deep to your squat. 
use rest, you press. So 10 reps for each exercise in our first round, and then we're going to decrease it for two reps for the next two rounds. Get ready, guys. First one, deadlift to your power pull. Tippy toes are optional. Good form, abs in everybody. Here we go. One, don't let hurry up. Two, I want to see the good form. Three, deadlift quality. Four, team. Five, six, seven, eight. Challenging the balance as well. Last one. And we're gonna go straight right away to the hops raster. So feet the same, hips width apart. Not a very deep squat. A little bit more than halfway, let's say three quarter of the regular squat for you. Ready, set on the way up. Press already. One, two, three, power, four, five. Keep the resistance in the leg, six. Keep awareness, seven, two left. That's it, one more. Excellent work. We're gonna put the dumbbells back, take a quick sip of water, and then we're gonna go for the round number two, the same two exercises, eight reps each. So we're starting to take away those exercises together. On the position, guys. Feet, hips width apart. Ready for the deadlift? Shoulders, abs, neutral back. Mind for success for the best form ever. Here we go, power pull. Only eight reps. Two. Three, focus. Four. Five. Six, scoop the belly in. Seven. And eight. That was very good. All right, guys, keep your quality. Resistance for the movement, pull and push. We never have a very uh, relaxed limbs, right? All the way up. Engage arms, engage legs. Squeeze the glute on the way up into the top thruster. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Sweat is rolling. Five. Stay with me. Two left. One more. Excellent. Dumbbells down. So your final round for this block number one. We'll only have six reps for each exercise and then our cardio burst. Do not let me to forget that cardio burst. Okay, ready? Six and six, guys. Feet hips width apart, shoulders, abs, good neutral back. Remember, you're going to lay as deep as you can maintain your neutral spine for your deadlift. Prop support your back with your abs. Here we go. Power pull. Good work. Excellent. We have one more. And right away, we're gonna go for the hubs rest. Ready? Here we go. Into the hills. Simultaneously. Press up, three left. Squeeze the glutes, guys. One more, beautiful work. All right, let's put dumbbells together. Drink your water. Dumbbells, guys, for safety, away from the mat where you're exercising, just in case, safety, number one priority. We have 30 squats, two punches, rotation. Your squat is optional. Squat will make it more intense. You can stay just up here. We will pick up the pace. I will cue every 10 reps. We have 30 total. Ready, guys? Set this is your cardio burst. So we're gonna go quicker. Here we go. One. All right, almost through the first 10. Good job, team. Ten of the way. One. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. 
20 guys all the way. Last 10. One. Finish strong. Two. Three. Punch through. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Two left. We've got this. Excellent work. Drink your water. Your first block in cardio burst is officially complete. We'll move into the block number two. Two exercises. Power jack and dumbbell push-up single arm row. For the first exercise, I'm going to be using, guys, 10 pounds. Power jack is a challenging compound exercise. And when we add overhead, that makes it even more challenging. So use lighter weights if you have to. I'm going to demo both for you. So this is your power jack. And your plank is going to be your plank single arm row. We have 10 for each arm, obviously. So it's a 20 total. And on the second round, we will decrease. Fit together for your power jack on the position on the side of the shoulders to wide grip, overhead press. If you have shoulders injuries, guys, do just power jack, hold the dumbbells on the shoulders without overhead press. That's gonna be challenging. Let's crush this one. One. Focus on the form. We half face through. Five left. Two left, guys. One more. That's perfect. All right, we're gonna keep just one dumbbell at a time. So our arm, second palm is not getting tired. Makes sense. Because we're not doing push-ups or anything else. The wrist, elbow, shoulder. So we're gonna stay right up here. 10 reps for each arm. One, two, three. Stay with me. Almost through, guys. Four, three, don't grab the dumbbell. Two, my beginners, you can go on your kneeling position. You can go on your kneeling position. All right, take it back, all the way from other side. Beginners, kneeling position works fine. One, two, three, four. Stay with me, we halfway through. Hold the navel in, abs in. Two left, guys. That's perfect. Excellent work. So we're gonna go for the second round. After the quick sip of water, eight reps for each exercise. For the plank row, eight on each arm. All right, power jack. I think for the plank row, I will be using my 12 pounds this time. All right, feet together. Remember, have shoulders injuries, just hold your dumbbells on the shoulders without overhead. Watch the form, guys. Let's crash this one. One, two. Lower jack, guys, if you can. Halfway through. That's it. Perfect, two left. One left. We've got this. Dumbbells away. Sip your water if you have to. I'm gonna grab my 12 pounders. Eight reps on each arm. Feel free to go on your knees, guys. Let's crash this one. One. Resistance, guys. Two against the gravity. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven and eight. This flies super quick. All right, other arm. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two left. That's awesome. All right, 12 pounder is away. We have one more round, guys, for the power jack. Stay hydrated, drink your water. 
I'm back to my 12 pounds, to my 10 pounds for the jacks. All right, dumbbells. Ready, guys? Set, let's crash it. Only six reps. That's it. Halfway through already. Two left. One more, everyone. Muscle up. Excellent. I'm gonna put my 12, my 10 pounds. Keep calling my 10 pounds, 12 pounders. And grab my one 12 pound. All right. It's only six reps, nice and strong. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch the sides. All right, muscle up crew. Let's go. One, two, full define row. Two left. One more. Excellent. All right, this concludes our block number two, but not completely, because we have our cardio burst. So we have our 30 squats, two punches. Keep it low key. If you don't want to squat, if you're not ready, do just the punches. We're trying to catch up on the pace. It's a cardio break, so we're gonna do it right. Keep the heart rate up. On the position, let's crush this. I'm gonna tell you when we're through for every time. Punch through, guys. No weak arms. 10 through. Come on. Come on, come on, quick legs. I know your legs getting tired. Only 10 left. Let's go. Pick up the pace. Exhalation, exhalation. Four left, four, three, Two, and one. Fantastic, fantastic work, guys. Heart rate is up. Drink your water, stay hydrated. We begin block number three. Your standing tricep extension, I'm gonna be using 15 pounds, one dumbbell. If you do not have a heavy dumbbell, use two of them, or one lighter. Whatever your tricep can support. Your second exercise is your dumbbell bicep curl to over hot press. All right, I'm gonna demo for you boss. I'm gonna grab my 15 pounders. This is your tricep. Your elbows, not gonna come too wide or too close to your ears. We extend all the way through, pick the weights you can support. And your second exercise, I'm gonna be using 12 pounders. That's gonna be your hammer curl to wide grip, overhead press. All right, we begin with a standing tricep. 10 reps. Nice and solid hold. Absin, strong as a mountain on the floor. Strong, tall torso. Here we go. One. Elbows staying in place, guys. Pull the stomach in, everybody, stomach in. Extending all the way fully, we're halfway through. That's perfect. We have three to go, guys, just in case. More better than less, less one. Excellent. My 15 pounds dumbbell is gonna go back down. I'm grab my 12 pounders. Use the dumbbells, you can support 10 reps. You can always increase the weight on the lower number of reps. All right, get ready, hammer it. Big white. Back to the center. This is your one rep. Wide. Soms together. Back. Three. Don't lift your shoulders, guys. This is a good weight. I can feel it so hard. We halfway through almost. That's it. Finish strong, guys. Hammer it overhead. Only three to go together. 
Never drop your dumbbells, guys. All right, we've got this. Two left. One more, guys. That's it. All right, we're gonna put the 12 pounds back. I put my 12 pounds back, drink your water. We have a tricep extension, eight reps. Bicep, hammer bicep curl to overhead. After that, ready? Solid stance, only eight reps. Arms getting tired, one, two, three. Keep the elbows in place, guys. Absent, chest lifted. We're halfway through. Excellent. All right. We can achieve what the mind can conceive, right? Let's go, let's go. Beautiful, strong, healthy body, guys. Requires some work. Feel free to decrease your weight when you have to. Let's hammer it. Overhead. Again. Come on. With me, guys, with me. Number three. If you're going a little bit slower, you can always pause the video and complete all the reps, guys. Do not skip your reps. I built these workouts for you, all of them, on effectiveness principles. So I pick up the number of reps, numbers on rounds, breaks, water breaks, cardio, burst for the best results possible, for the best, for, for the burning properties, last one. That's it, let's go. All right, dumbbells back. Quickly, drink your water if you have to. Just a couple sips. Your tricep, guys. We back to the tricep, only six reps. We do it together. I know arms getting tired. We crush this. One, two, do not over back bend, guys. Three, four, five, one more. My arms start to shake. All right, we have to complete. Our next exercise, I'm going to rock my 15 pounds. I'm not going to be using it anymore. Ready? Let's hammer it. Good stand, up in. Here we go. Let's crash this one. Only six reps. We can do it. All right. Good job. If you couldn't do something, guys, yesterday or a month before or a year before or somebody told you you can't do it, you can't do it, I can promise you guys, you can. Because you can do anything you're gonna put your mind into. Two more. Last one. We've got this. All right, awesome. The block number three, guys, is almost complete, but not without the cardio burst. Squat, punch rotation in a second. All right, my friends, on the position, let's burn it. Deep squat, good quality punch. Get ready, set, go, I count. We've got this. Legs are gonna get tired, but they got a good rest in this round when we use our arms. 10 through, guys. So when you left, that's it. All right, you've got this team, come on. Push it through. We have only 10 left. Let's do it. Bind through, guys. Perfect. Stay tall, don't back bend. Two more. Last one. We did it. All right. Round number four, your final block number four, your final block. We have three rounds, two exercises. I'm gonna demo both exercises for you before we begin. Your first exercise is a glute bridge, your neutral grip press. Your second exercise is gonna be your crunch with the dumbbell. I'm gonna be using 10 pounds for the crunch, double a crunch and 12 pounds 
or my bridge chest press. Bridge chest press. Take a look. If you do have a back injuries, guys, opt out of the bridge. Keep your back on the floor. Right here, you're gonna lift it, no weight on your neck, and it's gonna be 10 reps. Once you finish this, you're gonna grab your one dumbbell as an option, lighter dumbbell or no dumbbells at all. This is a double leg crunch. You're gonna crunch and drive your dumbbell towards your ankle, guys. Come back. I'm gonna put my 10 pounder away for now. We're ready for the glute bridge for the chest press neutral grip. No way on your neck. Get ready, guys. Hips up. Nice and steady, rest through the heels. Power wrap through the chest. Push. Squeeze the glutes. Two. Three. Four. Hips higher, guys, if you can. Five. Six. Push it, stop for a second on top. We have two more. One more. Nice and safe. Dumbbells on the side. Dumbbell is optional. Get ready, guys. 10 reps. So hover the dumbbell slightly farther away so you have a more thrust to this movement. Both feet, both legs off the ground. Here we go. That's it. I want you to lift your shoulders, guys, off the floor. Drive the both legs together. That's it. We're halfway through. Five. Four. Crunch. Stop for a second. That's it. I want you to see the movement, guys. Directly start from the abs. Activate the abs. We got this. So drink your water, guys, if you have to. Join me. We ready for the glute bridge. Eight reps. Opt out of the bridge. If you have neck, shoulders, back injuries, squeeze the glutes, a lot of weight right there. Here we go. Neutral. Squeeze the glutes, pull the abs in, guys. We've got this. We're halfway through. Three. Two. One more. Squeeze the glutes. Perfect. Nice and safe. Coming up. Eight crunches. Your dumbbell is optional, guys. Here we go. Keep the elbows not too wide, not too close. The same distance all the time. Power up from the center. Squeeze it right. Center activate. Scoop the belly. You've got this. We are halfway through from the center. Higher, guys. Shoulders off the ground. Chin slightly off the chest. Tiny little bit. One just in case. We got this. All right. Drink your water if you have to. Final round. Six and six. Ready? Let's do it together. Feet hips width apart. Hips up. Let's go. One. Flat shoulder blades, no weight on the neck. I know, you know, just a reminder. Halfway through. That's it. That's perfect. Come on up. Dumbbells away for now. Six crunches. Try to lift, guys, your feet and your shoulders off the floor with quality. One single little second hold so you feel that crunch. Let's go. Two. We've got this. Three. Two left. One left. Excellent job. Come on up. Let's put the dumbbells away, guys. We have our cardio burst, and then we have 
our finisher. Drink your water, stay hydrated. Block number four is almost complete. Not without that squat punch rotation. Get ready, guys. Set. We do it together on the position. Hit it. I got you. That's gonna fly by quickly. That's it, 10 out of the plate. Punch through, guys. Squat lower. This is your workout. Remember, you're responsible. Come on, push it. 20, last 10. Come on, passion, commitment. Let's punch that fat out. Let's go. We've got this. Two left. Last one. Good work, guys. Excellent, drink your water. We are ready for the finisher. Your finisher, guys. Your dumbbell is gonna be optional. Take a look. That's gonna be your jack in a squat. So it's a constant squat and jack. You start up here, you come up, you stay. But you constantly guys stay in your squat position. We do only 16. I'm gonna be doing it with the dumbbell. Choose to opt out of the dumbbell if you have to. All right, guys, we constantly staying in a squat. I'm using 10 pounds for this one. Over hat, get ready, guys. Set, we stay in a squat. Two, three, four. This is your finisher, finish strong five, six, only last eight left, guys. We can do it. One, two, stay low. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We did it together. Fantastic work, guys. Let's rock the dumbbells. We drink your water, guys. Stay hydrated. And I have a good quality cool down flexibility routine for you today we worked out so hard so hard guys so our body needs a good quality stretching so come on down we will begin in the seated position try to hold guys your knees extended unless i'm still short breath after the finisher unless you have a back injuries guys so take your glutes out, reach all the way up, and reach towards your toes, just like this. Doesn't have to be low. If you can go lower without losing your neutral spine, we go ahead and lean forward a little bit deeper. We're still holding it, guys, for four, three, two, Come on up. We're gonna go back to another forward fold with one leg after we do our one-legged upward play. So set your wrist, elbows, shoulders, foot on the floor for support, reach. Try to pull that other extended leg, foot on that leg towards the ground. Feels so good on the arms. Lift the hips, guys. Four, three, two, all the way back. So keep this foot on the floor. We're gonna go back down to the forward fold. We're adding up, doing this way, our hip flexor in even deeper straight for the lower back. We're holding it, four guys. Three, two, come on back. Other side. Put your foot somewhere on the level with your knee. Check your wrist, elbow, shoulders, so your hands not too close to your glutes. Reaching up, all the way, we're holding it for a few counts, guys. Try to pull this foot towards the floor. Achilles, quad, hamstring and glute. Of course, arms and shoulders, lift your hips, guys. Come on down. That was amazing, felt so good. All right, pull the foot closer, reach forward. If you can't reach towards the foot of extended leg, hold your ankle, hold your knee, 
use the towel. We hold it for a few extra counts. Four, guys. Three, two, all the way back. We're going to take one leg behind and we're gonna give it a very gentle forward lean or forward fold, whatever you can do. This is definitely for the hips and lower back as well, but entire body gets in a good stretch in. Four guys, three, two, come on back. We're gonna take our quick soft rotation towards the bent knee. Try to level your shoulders all the way outside. And we take it back. We do exactly the same with the other leg. Take it outside and we go straight forward. You can be on your hands, on your elbows, all the way. Try to keep your lower back guys neutral. We got this. That was challenging. I want to hear in the comments, guys, down below how you finish this workout. What was the most challenging exercise for you? And of course, guys, about your progress, about your progress, how much stronger you're feeling every single day. We're gonna do a gentle half spinal rotation. You don't have to take this hand behind. You can keep it on top on your leg if you have to. Four counts, three, two, and slowly come on back. Let's take ourselves on our knees and we're gonna reach up and down just with a couple times. Up and down. That's it. And take it back to the center. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Press your both hands really firmly into the floor. Drop your head. Take your one leg up, guys. We're gonna step for the runner lunge. Choose to opt out of the runner lunge and put your knee on the floor if you have to. Few counts hold, and we're gonna go back to the downward facing dog and step to the other side. Stretch the back. The best exercise for the back stretch and is your downward facing dog. Step forward, other leg. Make sure your chest above the hips if you can. Four, guys. Three, two, come on back. Reach all the way. Exhalation, hands on the floor. Take your one arm. Take your other side. Excellent. And squat a little bit deeper to the one side. Feels so good after hard training and all the way to the other side. Come on back. Both feet, reach all the way up, my friends. Exhalation, one more, please, squat. And as always, team, fantastic, amazing. Outstanding job for outstanding results. Strong, healthy body requires some work. So rest well, team, recover well, and I will see you all tomorrow.